All right, in this video, we're going to do some comparisons between a 250 watt, uh, watt high-pressure sodium light on a, uh, that has a digital ballast, you can see up top, on a four-foot light track with a six-inch inline cool tube, and it's above a mix of pepper and tomato plants. Um, it's basically a deep water culture with recirculating system. We just put the transplants in today. You can see this is the first station where we're going to do the comparison. The next one that we have when we walk over to the left, you can see the uh, 250 to the right. Now we're looking at the 400 watt unit. They're both high pressure sodium. Again, on a four foot uh, track, there is the light ballast. And again, we have tomatoes, peppers, and a, a whole variety of vegetables under here. Um, and then we're also going to go to the far left, and we have a 300 watt LED panel which you can see it has a little bit more of a purple light versus the reddish orange from the HPS units. Um, we have a polyfilm separating and making it light proof for each unit so they don't affect each other. And the idea is we're going to try to see, um, you know, which light produces the best results in terms of the uh, growing environment. Now the entire system in terms of the uh, hydroponics is all connected. It's all connected with PVC tubing and behind each unit you can see it actually goes from one to the other to the other. So everything is getting the same amount of nutrients and fertilizer, fertilizer, pH, everything else. We have one main sump pump that's actually pulling up water through uh, an irrigation system. And that water is going to feed each main body. And the water goes and is oxygenated with air stones in the line. And the water goes around left and right, basically down and is recycled. So all of these units are actually interconnected. And we're going to do time-lapse video with a, a different special camera that will take uh, unique footage of each unit um, and the, the growth rate of each unit. And while we're not working with clones and not all the exact same uh, species of plant, um, which would give us the best results, we're trying to get just a general idea of how things are going to grow under the 250 versus 400 versus 300 watt um, you know, units, HPS versus LED, and just to see how well everything will function overall. Um, again, this is Chris with Sunlight Solutions Hydroponics. You can uh, visit us at slsheds.com. That's slsheds.com. Thank you for watching.